Oh, there he goes. Whoa! Oh my God, that was such a high jump. on the beach again still have awesome weather and we got Bree here BA fishing on YouTube and she's gonna get is this your first big tarpon from paddleboard or first tarpon from paddleboard first yeah, one tarpon ever in my life so I'm really stoked for this all right so she's got her board I got mine we're already geared up got some bait there we might get some more bait out there but we don't have much swell to go through so we'll go ahead and uh, head on out there we are out here. We got some bird action. Oh, hopefully we find some good stuff. Oh man, there is a lot of life out here. We just got set up. We're each getting a rod out right now. And we're just doing some slow, oh, tarping right there. This is not gonna take long. Hey, I hit a power line with a boat and ripped it. So we got them hooked up. Bree and I are just trolling baits. I was the lucky one to get the hit. But Bree's gonna get her first tarp in here. So do you got any kind of rope or anything on you? No. All right, here, just come all the way side by side. Let's okay. do that. He's got a ton of fight in him still. He's just not really fighting too hard right now. Oh, there he goes. Whoa! Oh my God, that was such a high jump. <laughs> all right, get over here. <laughs> I don't want to get no, just, just run into the side of my board. Okay. All right. Right, are we gonna switch? Yeah, we're gonna switch board or switch oh things. Oh my lord. Okay. 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 So stay tight on them and catch a tarpon. Okay. That's simple. Tighten it up. That one's only got 20 pound braid, but it's invisibrate, so it's real strong. Look at that jump. That's a good one, too. So if they wrap, like if they like from jumping. Do they what? If they like tail wrap from jumping. They become insanely hard to land. I think that's yeah, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think he's tail wrapped. Okay. If you, I don't know. I can't feel it, but I'm gonna try to stand up. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this thing's jumping like crazy. So, sometimes they don't jump. Oh my gosh! He's had to have done like eight jumps already. Yeah, he did. Are we anchored? Uh, we're like kind of anchored. It'll drag a little bit, but it'll really slow us down so we don't end up like a mile out. Okay. I thought it was gonna be a shark on that hit. It didn't reach right away. Oh, I saw another one roll over there. <laughs> God, so many jumps. So with this fish, I had my camera recording when I didn't know I did. So I actually stopped recording, but I think we got the eat on video at least. And then we'll edit it together with the movie magic. This is nice, man. I don't normally get to just sit here. <laughs> this is like luxury. Ryan Drassy here. No, we got Breach and it's BA Fishing is her YouTube channel. She does, again, a lot of the kind of stuff I do, uh, but more tweak to her area. She does, the, she's got one of the sea Oh, look at that out there. What was that? Maybe some Benitas busting up, but she, she's got one of the sea Dew Fish Pros also that you guys see me using. And, uh, she does fishing on that, paddleboard fishing, kayak fishing, all sorts of stuff. Some some diving. Yep, spear fishing, lobstering. Weird camping on paddleboard stuff. And the bridge. <laughs> but now we're checking tarpon off the list yes. on the paddleboard, hopefully. 
Would this be your first big tarpon? Have you caught a big tarpon before? It was probably 30 to 40 pounds. So okay, so this will be your biggest tarpon. That's not big. <laughs> this one, I mean, I don't know how to estimate the size on them. It's, it's really hard, but I would guess this fish is like in the 60 to 70 size. Which is actually really good because it's not going to take us an hour long fight. We'll be able to get lines back out and hopefully get another. Quick little battery switch. We're going good though. So Bree, the gear she is using is, you can hold it. Hey, you don't need, no, so you focus on your fish. Okay. I got this. She's got the Tsunami Salt X 6000. This reel has a lot of power to it and it's a sealed reel. Um, it's only got 20 pound Invisibraid, but from the test that you can research on Invisibraid, that 20 pound Invisibraid has a breaking strength over 40 pounds. And with these tarpon, we're not putting a ton of pressure on them in the beginning, but towards the end of the fight, you really need something that you can get these fish up off the bottom on. And then the rod is the Tsunami Carbon Shield 2, uh, eight foot. Again, another nice little powerful rod. And hopefully it goes good. He's coming up for a roll. There he is. There he is, there he is. Hooked up. And we're not doing a sleigh ride. We got an anchor because we don't want to end up out past that boat. He's like right here. Oh my gosh. If he did a jump like right there, that would be awesome. He may, he may just do that. It wouldn't surprise me with how. 13 times. <laughs> Yeah, he's just hugging the bottom. It's good to keep them shallow like we are because out deeper with the colder water down there, they fight a lot harder and longer. So, it's your call as far as drag and stuff goes. Um, but usually when they're down deep, I reel tight to them and then use use the rod like and just so you muscle them a, a little bit. Yeah, otherwise he's just going to sit down there. There you go, he's shaking his head a little bit. Yeah. Ah, he didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, he's staying on the bottom now. You'll see that line start shooting up to the top. Coming up. You got a roll maybe? Looks like a roll, not really a jump. <laughs> that was sick. Try to keep pulling it down his back if you can. I gotta get out of here. Got Benita frenzies going on in the background. And back down. Trying to grab the leader. That was cool. No. Back down. No. No. Are you gonna land this thing or what? I'm trying. There you go, that was a good one. Yeah, they do. Very hard. That was a good one too. He's got to be getting close to the top. Yep, she's up. Nice. There you go. See if you can see that hook when he gets close to you. If you don't get them on this one, you'll probably get them on the next one. That was pretty... Look at that thing. Oh, she's got his mouth! <laughs> grab the leader, grab the leader. Instead of high sticking, you can use your hand on the leader a little bit. Okay, it look close again. Yep, that was so close.
Yeah, so once you get them close, then get your hand on the leader and let some line out, and then you can okay. probably get a better grip on it. There it is. Now get a death grip on there, two hands. Oh my gosh. You got him. Oh my gosh. It's a nice one. Does that hook seem like it's in there pretty good? No. Like this or? Yeah. Okay. Here, look up here. <laughs> she got him. She got him. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. So you want the back like that. Now get your hand under his butt. Okay. Come on, before I get my You got him? Up a little bit. Put your, slide your hand by his butt and lift it, lift his back up a little bit. There oh you go. Gosh. That is sick. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get on my board. Yeah, These fish just fought so hard, and we got to revive them. And this is how you get water moving over their gills. It'll start coming up, his back will come up soon and his tail will start kicking while I'm just paddling in circles. Oh right, he should be good, just throw him and keep him straight and he should swim. There he goes. Yep, his tail's kicking. You can still see him right there. Look, look, he's coming up for you. Dude, Good job. That was awesome. Oh. All right, so there's one tarpon down. Nice catch, nice revival. Breeze out there. We're just getting baited up again. And we're back on the, back on the troll. Looking for fish number two of the morning. Man! That's a giant! 